you are forever having to open and close plugins by having to double click on them and maybe double click on the next one to bring that up and then the third one. If this is your process, then you go around closing them like this. Plugin link will really dramatically speed up your workflow. Firstly, I'm going to open up a plugin. In its default state, plugin link is switched to off. To look at the states, the various states of the plugin window, you can right click on the link button here and you will see off, single and multi. When it is off, it just behaves like a single window. You can open multiple plugins here. Uh, let's just get a few of these up and running on my screen. If you've seen my previous video on show and hiding all plugins, you can use the V key now to just quickly show and hide these plugins without having to close them. Again, that can be a massive time saver. But let's look what happens if I move to another track. If I move to another track and hit the show and hide button, the same plugins from the previous track comes up. Now you may want that and you may not want that. If you don't want that, if you want it to show the plugins that are on the track that you have selected, then this is where plugin link will come in. Let me now select plugin link. So I have turned plugin link. I will turn it on to single mode. And as you see, if you go to single mode, it will only allow you to select one plugin. Now what happens here is, let me select the EQ plugin. Why am I selecting the EQ plugin? Because it's at the top of the list. If I show and hide these now, they will open as normal. But if I go down to the next track now, watch what happens to the EQ. It becomes the EQ plugin that was on the channel below. Now let me go to the next channel down. It becomes the uh, adaptive limiter. So I can just scroll up. As you see, I'm scrolling up and down the tracks and it is linked to the track that it is on. These other two stay the same. Now, if again, if I use the show and hide key V, yes, it will always bring up the three plugins that you have open. Now, let me just close these. What you will auto notice is it goes in order of plugins. If I am in single mode, it will always open the plugin relative to the one that I have opened. So in this case, I have opened the plugin that is in the first slot. As I go down my channels, it will open the plugin that is in the first slot. If I were to open Devil Lock, as you see, we switch. As I move down now, it will open the plugin that is second in the chain. If I open the third one, yeah, as we go down, you can see that neither of these two tracks have a plugin, so you get an empty window from the third slot. So that is single mode. This can be really useful if you have the same kinds of processing in the same slots. You can easily quickly move through all your channel EQs. Now let's look at multiple. If I select multiple, of course, this means I can have multiple windows open. I will now need to select all the other plugins that I want controlled by multiple. And as you see now, as I move down, it will open up all of the other plugins relating to that track. Using a plugin link in combination with the V key is a super fast and easy way to quickly see your plugins, move around your plugins without having to keep going on and clicking or double clicking to open and close plugin windows. I hope you found that useful. If you have any more logic questions, please do send me a message or leave a comment in the box below. If you like this channel, please do hit the subscribe button.